Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to resize your children's book PDF for Amazon KDP using Adobe Photoshop. For whatever reason, you might be getting some kind of errors because your PDF is in the wrong size for Amazon KDP. So I'm going to show you how to resize it. For this example, I'm going to use a PDF from one of my viewers. His name is Blake and he made this book Life with Lingo. It's a really cute book about this creature who's a mix between a dolphin and a parrot and it teaches kids money skills. I think it's a really cute book and I thought it would be fun to use for this example. This book is currently available as a six by nine and we're going to convert it to a five and a half by eight and a half book. So notice that I'm going smaller in size. It is definitely always better to resize smaller because otherwise you're stretching the image bigger and it could end up blurry. If I wanna resize the book to five and a half by eight and a half, then I can go to this Amazon help page, set trim size, bleed, and margins, and just scroll down to examples of page size with and without bleed. And you can find your desired book size here. So we're going to do the five and a half by eight and a half. And you're going to want to go over to the right side. And this is the size that each page should be 5.626 by 8.75. When you resize it, you're going to want to crop it so that you don't mess with the proportions and stretch it weird. So in order to do that, I'm going to use the crop tool in Photoshop. So let's go over to Photoshop. I'm going to select my crop tool or you can press the letter C on your keyboard. And up here in the options, we're going to set those values. And you want to make sure that you have the width by height by resolution selected here. And then this is going to be the width. So we're going to do 5.626 and then make sure you type IN for inches. 8.75 IN. This next box is the resolution, so we want it to be 300 dpi. Press enter. So now we have this all set up so we can crop each of the pages. Now I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to find my PDF and open it. Now here are all the pages, and we want to just select all of them because we will have to resize every page. So I'll have the first one selected and then I'm just gonna scroll down and I'll hold down shift and select the last one. So now they're all selected and then I can just do okay. And if this is too much for your computer, you can kind of do it in batches. So you could do like 10 and then the next 10 or you know, whatever works for you. So now we're just going to go through each of these pages and crop them. The first page is just a blank white page, so it doesn't really matter how we crop it. But let's zoom out, so I'm going to do Command minus on a Mac, or you can do Control minus on Windows. I'm going to click into the crop square, and then this comes up. And if I wanted to, I could move it around or resize it. But you do want to make sure you don't size it bigger because then you'll have a white border around the edge and you definitely don't want that. One setting that I do recommend is going to view and do snap to document bounds, which I have that selected because there's a line there. And so then I'm just going to click snap. You can see if I go again, there's a check mark there. So I'm snapping to the document bounds and I have snap with a check mark next to it. So now if I want to move the crop box, then I'm gonna click and then I can shift it all the way over and it'll actually snap to the edge. And that's really nice because then I don't have to worry about accidentally moving it over too much. And this looks fine, so I'm gonna click the check mark and then I'm just going to do save. So I'll do Command S or Control S on Windows. I just made a new folder called Book Resized, so this is where all the resized pages are going to go. So we're going to save each page out as a new page. 
So this is the new folder and I have format Photoshop PDF and I'm just going to do save. I like to uncheck the preserve Photoshop editing capabilities. Since it's a final export of the book, you don't need people to be able to edit it anyways. And then I'm just going to do save PDF and then you can close it. You want to do that for all the rest of the pages. This one is also pretty easy because we're not really cutting anything off. So I'll just click in the middle and click the check mark. Command S for save and save. And then I'll close it. Here's one where it is cutting a little bit off the edges. And the one thing we'd want to pay attention to is whether it was making the text go too close to the edge. So it looks okay, like that definitely seems like enough room because you probably want about a quarter of an inch of margin around the edge for the text. So this actually looks okay. And you can look at these rulers up here. So this is a half an inch and this would be a quarter of an inch. So as long as it's like inside here, then it's good. So we can click inside, click the check mark and save. Here's an actual artwork page and we would have to kind of decide do we want it to crop in the middle or do we want to move it over to the right or over to the left. As you can see, if we leave it as it is, then this calendar goes right up against the edge there. And what that means is it's probably going to get trimmed right along the edge. So you just have to kind of decide if that's okay or if that's not okay. You can either move this over so it doesn't trim it quite as much, but then it'll definitely chop that off. Or you can move it the other way and then it'll definitely trim some of this off, but we'll keep some of that. So it's kind of up to you or if you just want it in the center, then you can just keep it like that. One very important thing, which doesn't actually apply to this book, but if you have a spread in your book, then you're going to have to really pay attention to how you crop it. Because with this spread, you want the part towards the spine of the book to be continuous. So you don't want to crop it near the spine of the book. You would want to make sure that you keep the part near the spine because that's where it's going to be continuous. So you can just go through and do that for each of your pages. Now I have all of those pages saved out as separate pages and they're all cropped to size. Now all we have to do is combine those into a new PDF in Photoshop. Back in Photoshop, I'm just going to go to File, Automate, PDF Presentation. And now I'm going to select all of those new PDFs that we resized and saved out. So I have all of those selected and you do want to make sure they're in the right order. These ones actually aren't in the right order because of the numbering. So we would want to grab two and put it up under one. Three will need to be pulled up two. And all of these ones. Now we have these all in order and we want it to be a multi-page document. So we have that selected. That's pretty much it. So we can now click save, give it a name, save PDF, and that's it. We're done. So now if we go to where we saved that, it's right here. We have book resize.pdf and these will all be the new size. If you want to check out the book that I featured in this video, then you can use the link in the description. It's called Life with Lingo, and the art is really colorful. The story is really cute, and it's just a really fun read. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you want to see a different program being used to resize your PDF, let me know that too, or any other video requests. Good luck with your book. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!